Mrs. Woodward, we have a problem, and as our librarian, I think you are the only one who can help. What is it, Mr. Dick? I have spent the whole morning fielding phone calls from upset parents about students' online actions and I have had a steady stream of complaints from teachers about technology devices in the classroom. It sounds to me like we are having some digital citizenship issues. Digital citizenship? What do you mean by that? Today's students spend a lot of their time online. They use social networking sites, they play games, they send email, they instant message, they research, they create movies and share pictures. In his book Digital Community, Digital Citizen, author Jason Oller explains it as living in two worlds, the real world and the virtual world. Well, school is in the real world. Why am I spending my day dealing with virtual world problems? This doesn't make sense. Actually, Mr. Dick, it does make sense. Children have always needed to learn about rights and responsibilities. Families and schools have helped them to learn these things. Of course. Go on. Well, today children spend a great deal of time online and using technology, but unfortunately, they have not really been taught about the rights and responsibilities of the virtual world. And the virtual world is a big part of our real world. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that before. Making matters even more complicated is that parents and teachers often are not as involved with technology as children. We don't always know what children are doing online or how they are using technology. We may not know what they need to know. What can we do about this? We need to incorporate digital citizenship lessons into our school goals and into our teaching. How can we afford to do that? Teachers are already overburdened. Mr. Dick, how can we afford not to? Children are bullying and being bullied, giving out information that may not be safe, stealing property that isn't theirs. If we fail to educate our students about digital citizenship, we fail to prepare them for the real world. You are right, Mrs. Woodward. What do you suggest? Well, my new digital citizenship wiki is a start, but as the school teacher librarian, I have many other ways to help teachers and students to become good digital citizens. Lead the way, Mrs. Woodward. I thought you'd never ask.